Right friends, welcome back to Lessons Learned from Prelims 2018. We are presenting two videos. The first one is 47 questions from learning space. And to authenticate that, we have included video clippings of more than 40 questions. And this is the second video. Lessons Learned from Prelims 2018. And any examination, especially UPSC like examination, is the best opportunity for course correction what correction is required and from this perspective i would like to tell you that please circulate this video among your friends i am not telling this for the sake of publicity i am telling this only to make them aware about the failures and how to do the course correction because without course correction if you are traveling on the same path for UPSC, it becomes difficult to make it a success. So, therefore, course correction is needed and UPSC examination teaches us a lot. So, a lot can be learned from UPSC like examination and from learning space side, I am assuring you, we learned a lot many lessons from this examination and the primary question haunting me is, we taught with crystal clear clarity several aspects and we repeated number of things, but still some students committed mistakes in the examination hall. So, how to reduce the mistakes, how to make them much more confident for 2019 exam. So, that is the goal of this particular video, right. So, please circulate among your friends. Right? So, as to make them aware about their mistakes. Right? And here, at first, I am placing some of the comments from our esteemed students. And some students felt that they benefited immensely because of learning space lectures. Please go through some of them due to paucity of time. I am not able to read in the lecture. I have already gone through all the comments. And from Navneet Kang. Om Adav, then Mauli Kathule, then Dhananjay Tota, some of the students writing for the first time felt they may not cross the qualifying cutoff, but still they felt they immensely benefited out of learning space lectures. You see Chaitra, so if you go further, Sveta, like that, several of our esteemed students sent their comments, you can go through them. I do not want to deliberate much on this. So, I kept these slides so that you can peruse, right. So, please go through them. Then some of the students gave several suggestions and we take all of them in the right perspective because improvement is the continuous process and we take the suggestions given by all these students, right. And Please go through these comments if time permits to you, right. So, now let us look at key takeaways, right. I pinpointed 10 points and all these 10 are very important for the course correction, right. First and the foremost is prelims and mains preparation is not separate. Prelims and mains preparation should go hand in hand. And please remove from your minds, I can prepare for preliminary only during the last two months or three months. That will not certainly, in majority of the cases, you may not get success if you keep that in mind. So, most important is prelims and mains preparations are not separate. Very, very important. Right. So, keeping this in mind from June 18th because we are starting the editorial lectures and other modules from June 18th and from June 18th onwards we are going to frame our lectures in a manner that prelims preparation should also start from now onwards and prelims and mains preparation should not be separate. So, this lesson we learned and all the students must also learn because Lot many analytical questions are being asked and here if you do not know the subject in totality, take the case of oil seeds, oil seeds imports question, capital adequacy ratio question. For example, 
lot many questions are there. So, means and prelims preparation, please don't separate it. Then second point is analysis of editorials, important articles. And I am going through several newspapers for the past three years. And with my experience, I can say that some of the questions you cannot answer the question paper if you see 2018. Some of the statements appears to have been directly lifted from the newspaper articles. Some of the statements appears to have been directly lifted from the newspaper articles. Overall, I have counted at least five to six statements which came directly from the newspaper editorials or important articles. So, newspaper editorials and important articles most important in your journey. That is the most important take out from this. Then the third one is current is not current. Normally, people talk about current affairs means three months, six months, one year. For UPSC, people feel that current affairs is one year, but certainly not. Barren Island was in the news around one and a half year ago. Food Security Act came around four years ago. Still, a question is being asked. And Right to Education Act, it came almost a decade ago. But question came from Right to Education Act. Similarly, NSSO survey. And if you look at the paper, Digital India. Digital India came around three to four years ago. A question is there on Digital India. So, current means it is not current from UPSC perspective. So, parallelly what we intend to do, that we are going to present in the plan of action from 18th June. Certainly, we will present plan of action. And our plan of action, please remember, our plan of action will try to eliminate these defects. And how we are going to overcome this aspect, I am going to explain you when we present the plan of action within the next 2-3 days. Right? So, our plan of action from 18th June will eliminate various shortcomings, whatever we have noticed. Right? So, first one is prelims and mains. We are not going to see them separate. Our lectures will take care of this. We will put it in a combined way from day 1 onwards. Then, editorials, important articles. We give more emphasis for more and more articles, right? Then, current is not current. Whenever we are discussing current affairs related event, suppose some article is there in the editorial discussion on Digital India. We will try to present what is Digital India and what are the important features. If some article is on Food Security Act, we will try to present what are the aspects of Food Security Act like that. We want to put so many things in your mind and repetition, repetition, repetition will in fact immensely benefit you if the current affairs is not from the current events, right? So, that means what I mean to say is if the UPSC is asking the events for the past 2-3 years, the best way is to remember them, to remind them as and when the opportunity comes. That is the opportunity when we are discussing editorial discussions, right? Basics from NCERT is still relevant. And NCERT basics, if you see the questions like human capital, if you see the questions like plant diseases, these are all the questions from NCERT. And NCERT is most important to understand various editorials also clearly. Because you see, Various words like human capital, tangible, intangible, all these words are there in the NCERT books from class 6 to class 10th. And what we are going to advise you with regard to NCERT, that is also we are going to tell you. And one important aspect is all the students, whoever are beginners, please start with 6th to 10th social studies. 6th to 10th. That facilitates or you can say that is advantageous in two ways. One is because of that the important terminology will be at your grasp. Because of that you can easily understand the editorial discussions. Second one is in the preliminary they will be highly beneficial. Right. Then the next one is continuous emphasis on new words in the news. One classic example is rule of law. Rule of law is in the news for the past one year in our country. 
So, two questions are asked on rule of law, rule of law index as well as rule of law. So, continuous emphasis as and when new words appear, right, quite often in the news are haircut and such similar words and this type rule of law is asked and the continuous emphasis on the new words, right, we are going to have special focus on this in our lectures. Then trends since 1991 as well as trends over the decade, you see, lot many questions are being asked on trends, whether it is capital adequacy ratio or the edible oils imports. So, what we are planning is when we start the lectures from 18th June, we are thinking of starting separate modules on trends. So, we are planning separate modules on various trends, maybe one in a month will do, right? Then, equal emphasis for all the domains, very important. Sometimes, some domain may be easy, sometimes something may be difficult. So, to neutralize that, equal emphasis should be put by the students, right? And here, I am assuring you, Binu Krishna Madam will complete the lectures on geography as well as polity before this year end. That means before December, before December 2018, all the lectures pertaining to polity and geography that will be completed by Binu Krishna Madam. And we will try to put deeper concentration on SNT related as well as ecology and environment. And with regard to history, art and culture, we are seriously searching for the right talent. Right. So, equal emphasis to all the domains. Then, without repetition, it is difficult to remember. Lot of repetition is required in UPSC preparation. Very, very important. I may repeat 3-4 times during my lectures in 3-4 months, but that is highly beneficial to you. Right. So, I will continue to repeat. Our faculty will continue to repeat various aspects which we feel important. Without repetition, it is difficult to remember. You see the example of this minimum support prices question. Without the repetition of that item, it is very difficult to answer such type of things. So, we will continue to give emphasis on repetition. Then, continuous emphasis on maps. We started beautiful maps. And one question, if any student followed that particular question on longitude, we presented one MCQ on longitude in the maps that almost similar to the UPSC question. In UPSC, Delhi, Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Pune and Nagpur were asked. And in our lectures, we kept Delhi, Bengaluru, Hyderabad and others. So, if anyone answered that question, UPSC question becomes easy. That means the question which was asked becomes very easy. So, therefore, what we planned is this continuous emphasis on maps both for India as well as world. We are going to continue the emphasis on maps. Then standard general knowledge, that is also very important. And if you give emphasis on standard general knowledge also, probably you may not miss questions like the Kodai Kenala Lake. Right? So, we want to emphasize on standard general knowledge. Right? So, these are the important takeaways which we noticed. These are the important takeaways which we noticed from the 2018 prelims paper. And this is the best opportunity for course correction, not only for learning space, but also for the students. Right? So, in a nutshell, what I want to advise you is, don't neglect NCERT books. Second one is, don't see prelims and mains preparation as separate. If you are preparing in a comprehensive way, your prelims will become very easy. Otherwise, it becomes difficult to clear the prelims. Third one is, newspaper editorial articles with the relevant events. And when we are discussing editorials, we are putting forth various relevant events and we will continue to give more emphasis on all those things. So, editorial discussions is very important. Then, looking at the trends is very important. That is why we are going to produce separate modules for trends and the next one is brainstorming for the prelims 2019. That means, what I mean to say is, 
if you learnt certain articles during the week and during that weekend we are going to present mcqs with the brainstorming that means whatever you learnt that week whatever you learnt that week we are going to present certain mcqs during that weekend itself so that will in fact make you not to forget various aspects what you have learnt during that week next one is for mains we are coming up with innovative concept of 360 degree view of various aspects right and if you look further please concentrate on maths this is very important aspect then standard gk that is also important and repetition is very important so please don't ignore the lectures because the aspect is repetition we will try to repeat some of the important aspects so that you will recollect in the examination hall and equal emphasis for all the domains so all these are important takeaways from this examination and finally our goal for civils 2019 and accurately how to answer 60 to 70 questions our goal for civils 2019 is accurately how to answer 60 to 70 questions in the general studies paper right that is our goal and we are working on it so accordingly our program will start from 18th june then mains we would like to start 360 degree view on various aspects whether you take malnutrition whether you take digital india whether you take education outcomes like that we take each and every topic like article 356 governor's role so all these contemporary events we are thinking of 360 degree views on various subjects our goal is at least one of you should score 1200 plus in the mains examination that is our goal we are working on it certainly you will achieve this milestone right and here I would like to tell you several beginners new students are asking about how to start the preparation new students they are asking about how to start the preparation and keeping that in mind during this month we are planning around five to six videos in fact they will be useful not only for the beginners but also for the students whoever are writing for the past one or two years so this dreams to reality five to six videos will be presented during the month of june from 18th june by the month end they will be completed so these five to six videos titled dreams to reality they will give the insight on how to start the preparation how to read the newspaper how to read the ncert books all those things we are going to present in dreams to reality right then cse mains 2018 then cse prelims and mains 2019 plan of action that will be announced on 8th june right so with regard to our plan of action we will present in a separate video and that video will be presented on 8th june what we are going to do from 18th june and we are going to do as much as possible right so regular lectures including editorial discussions they will start from 18th june and our plan of action will be uploaded on 8th june right dreams to reality modules right they will be presented between 18th june and 30th june and regular lectures will start from 18th june and my request is the students who were not able to fare well in the 2018 exam please don't be disheartened and start your preparations with clarity of thought certainly you will reach the pinnacle in your career right friends this concludes this lecture so once again i request you please circulate this video among your friends through various social media platforms because here students should not commit the same mistakes year after year and from learning space site we are doing course correction required so as to make you confidently facing the 2019 exam 
at the same time we are going to present what best is possible for the 2018 mains also right friends this concludes this lecture so please start your preparations without loss of time and willpower is there you can reach your destiny right have a nice day thank you